this is my 10th year and it's been going on s since before me. I've been here off and on for about 10 or 12 years. And I'm here because of Gina and I've, this is really my second year of trying to be active at this as opposed to being a participant. On Thursdays and Fridays, we get between uh, 600, 650 kids in two days. And they go from station to station to station and you get a lot of workout. You get a night, by the end, by four o'clock in the afternoon, you're ready to sit down. You really are. And we throw the atlatl. We make fire with flint and steel. We show them how we do stuff primitive. And Marjorie Brick has a wagon she brings and she pears apples the old way and she cooks in the oven and Dutch ovens. And I'll tell you what, it, we eat good. That's right, we don't want some of the arts that we have taken into such enjoyment like blacksmithing has been picked up again in the 80s or so out of uh, out of interest in the art in the art of working with metalworking well for me as a craftsman i'm a bowyer and a fletcher and a string maker and a leather worker i made my leathers out of some elk hides that were given to me by a friend they came from germany and i want to be able to pass on to those kids like i was working with my boy scouts what it's like to throw a hawk or what it's like to uh, uh, brain tan a hide. Now that gets a little bit more complex than what we do out here, but if I had a hide stretched out and I had my paddle here and I was cooking some brains, I'd get plenty of questions on it. Who knows what, what, would, what, what, what might come out of that little display that I might put together.